Yo, what's up people? Welcome back to the Nerd Crate, to the second outing of my new format summaries, where I just summarize in English what I told you in German on my full review, right up there, I believe, should be. Yeah, always, you know, you got you got to turn around, you're thinking on that. So today it is for this guy, FT46 Tesla 2.0, which at first sight is a really beautiful bot. Um, just find a score for you already again. Um, the thing is, uh, I believe I, mm, or my interest in masterpieces may actually have run its course because, uh, while transforming this dude and, um, transforming him back and forth and all this rotating stuff and the legs and all that, uh, and also, uh, of course, folding out the arms, um, I almost ripped, um, this is the brown part right here on the finger. Uh, which is actually, how do you Google that one? Bark. So um, I nearly ripped my finger on, off on that one. The, the tolerance was uh, actually pretty hard on this little panel right here. Otherwise, it's a beautiful bot. Otherwise, it's a beautiful bot. Um, you have a beautiful, uh, beautiful sculpting, beautiful paint. Um, the tolerances on the joints themselves are all pretty good, except for, which is not too good. And this little flap on the back here also, it always comes up, it stays that way, but it flops around and it doesn't, doesn't fit anywhere. It doesn't pick in anywhere. So that's a big problem. I got him here in the IDW Perceptor stance right now. Um, the box is amazing, as always. I love how fans toys pretty much found their own masterpiece style to a box, right? We got... Um, we got beautiful partially varnished box with embossed logo, embossed bot, and the two alternate modes with all the logos really standing out. This is, this is actually pretty beautiful. Also here on the side, nice library feel. I always enjoy that. Little bio, that's beautiful with the usual white styrofoam and, and little baggies for, for all the contents for the multiple hats we have. We have a magnitude of hat. I believe we have six we have seven alternate heads two exchangeable faces um we have an exchangeable plate non-see-through for the chest two guns with the other one he has in hand so there's a lot to this guy there is a lot to the guy and actually also pretty good articulation we got we got an ab crunch here we got double jointed elbows which gives you good bit of run to have him kind of activate his monocle in an in, in idw kind of sniper mode you know I, I believe that's 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 a good bit but the engineering on this thing and also the fact that i had to rotate this this leg one way then the other way and that they start with a tank mode that nobody quite frankly please write in the comments do you give a damn about the tank mode because i sure didn't i just didn't and i had to rotate the legs up here and now it looks horrible. I don't know if the focus does anything for you, but I have big old paint chips here. I have big old paint chips on the leg up here and on the other side. And I have weird white speckles now on the knees here and also here. Check out my Instagram because I made photos there. Maybe it's better visible there. And that is just, that is just horrible. From the first transformation ever, I had this kind of paint chipping, which is, which is horrendous, which is just horrendous, and especially at a price like that. The price range for this guy currently lies at around 170, I believe 170 to 250 bucks, um, somewhere around in that ballpark. Let me let me lie on that, please. So um, that's that's, and always this leg always flops flops down. This is just, it's just so sad, because overall I really like this bot, but. The fact that I roughed up the paint, that the joint is not holding, um, and that I just, it, it was a gift. You know, this, this is even the most bitter part for me. This was a gift for me. People from the German community put their money together to, to gift me with this because I said, I kind of would love to have this guy. It's just not my priority. And the German community kind of wanted to give back for that. And now it looks like coming straight from a barn sale with all that scuff marks. And that's just bad. And for that price, 
if you if you're not going to transform it and you're just going to have it staying there it's good but not for the price so it's it's a hard it's a hard point for me to actually recommend this to you guys and um i have to say just a small part for myself really quick um i believe this is this is a personal problem for me for my interest shifting from masterpiece to legend scale because i had no fun in this guy anymore he looks amazing but i thought after huffer rick you can also check that out up there that i would enjoy this guy and i didn't and since i sold off a lot of my masterpieces and i transferred big time to or I tra traverse i believe is the word uh, to legends I believe it's kind of the end of my masterpiece journey. I have a few pieces that I want to show you, but I really need to be in the mood to do that. So um, take that for what you will. I hope this gives you a little bit of insight. And I hope you don't take it too subjective. I know that my opinion may be biased big time and subjective on this one because um, I almost ripped my, toe, my, my, my fingernail off and um, also just the overall scuffing of the paint is big time but um this is my opinion it might divert from what you hear maybe at the very least it gives you some concern if uh, this guy is any good as always thank you for watching and i hope to catch you on the next time and be good and be well bye bye